Damn. Didn't even start yet. Already lost a bunch of frames. I think. I think we can say no to that. All right. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I wonder what happens if I click on these. Does this open EGS? EGS. Oh yeah, it does. Epic Store opened up. God damn, Epic Store. I don't want you. Get out of here. It's such a garbage site. It's so slow to load in. It's like, holy crap, how can they... Whatever. Oh, there's the pony at the complete journey. I have that. I have the complete journey, I think. Actually, let me check. Oh, I love those things. Oh, hold on. Da 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 da. Gotta use win my Windows PowerShell. Oh my god, what the fuck? What was that exception? Metadata for two apps! Whatever. The pony. Uh... Yeah, I have the complete journey. Hell yeah, boy. Honestly. I would like to replay that at some point. I know I never finished the uh, the last one. I never streamed them either. Although it's basically a point and click adventure game, but I like the story, it's pretty funny. But yeah, I never finished the third one. I think the third one is the last. I only got like, probably not even halfway through it. It's from the same people that made this, I think. Or at least the same publisher. Like the other games, the games in the top right corner they're basically all published games by uh, Datalik like before this game the only Datalik game I knew about was the Ponya games so <laughs> yay anyways today we're going to do stuff with the journalist at least first uh, let me double check my thing okay I like the flashlight because the dark cave and the uh, other dark cave easy backpack and also easy stuff like it, it, it's just good you keep a tea it's either we trade it with the guy who wants the tea or we drink it this is standard and honestly what else would I do with the 10 get another tea another food get safety rope Pfft, no so let's get some sanity as well and these we can just get them like, once my uh, capacity gets higher, obviously I'll be able to afford stuff like the snow boots. Although I would... What? What costs more energy by default? Snow or ice? Although deep snow costs more energy, but I'm... Uh, I'm using the team upgrades for... For snow energy reduction, so... I probably don't need to get the snow one. I guess I can get the ice... Ice clampers or whatever. And then energy cost on rock? Who cares about that? Rock is basic. Rock doesn't cost energy. Alright, I'm done with everything. So let's do this! And I need one more... Actually, no, I could do Mountain 2 right now. I feel like I wanna do Mountain 2's first thing with the Adventurer. Adventurer seems like the toughest one. But we're going to do this because this one's the journalists. So well, let's switch to the journalist. So the journalist is every level up gets me some bonus stats. That's nice. Less than it loss in events. That's nice. I can rob people and stuff without thinking about it. I always knew journalists for rats. I mean, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> just kidding. I don't know it. We got some uh, energy refill when I get to a point of interest. That's good because a lot of them use energy, so nice. And yeah, I want these next. Less energy loss. Some events are not point of interest. Alright. What are these? Oh, just health and sanity? Yeah, I don't care about that. Alright. Oh, journalists. What does this one? Sign is a large mountain with moderate elevation. There is a great deal of dangerous terrain on this mountain. Ah, 
scale the summit. So who likes dangerous terrain? Isn't it the scientist? Suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain energy. Yeah, the scientist would be just no need to sleep on this mountain. That's all right, scientist. Oh, I'm almost done with the full night deck. If this side mission gives me a level up, I can do mountain too with the adventure because I'll have all the night stuff. Oh, that's gonna be nice. All right. Thin air, breathing is harder up top, normal weather. I get 1500 terrain proficiency for the for the quest, so I don't even get a thousand character stuff. It's two star. Uh oh. Well, you know, maybe I want to do something else. You know, this gives a backpack. And this gives. Oh, I should do this though. That's slow up. Then again, I want to do all, so whatever. Let's do this first. And I get a thousand event proficiency if I do it with the journal this turn. Journalist ready. The little camera. Ah, oh, yes. That would be so annoying. Those goddamn fasteners on your inner thigh. I, I, I wouldn't like those. <laughs> There's a new task waiting for a new challenge, head out into the unknown. Okay. How do I look around? There's the summit. So it's gonna be the good old... One, two... Buckle my shoe. Two caves immediately. How oh, nice. I want to go. I want to go. That way, I think. So what if I go blip, 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 blip. Look at that, I could do, I could go all there in one turn. I, I could just go. I could just go right now, speedrun. And honestly, then I could just sleep there. That would refill my energy. And just, like, there is a potential to speedrun pretty easily, but we want to do, do sweet, sweet gameplay content, you know? <laughs> Oh, that's a... Seven and a half. Content. I wish there was an, uh, more speed for this, but just three times, because it's pretty fucking slow. <laughs> Gave it a dude. I never woke up, woke them up before, so just wake him up. Let's see what happens. Push the mountain, but he doesn't react. I know, gently shake him. He murmurs something in comprehension, rolls over to his other side, doesn't seem. It gives XP and only for a little bit of sanity. It's worth. We don't need to sleep. Give me some sanity. Or XP. Nice. This guy doesn't have any extra XP stuff. Enter cave. And uh, seems to be ice wind. Always follow the wind. Oh no, we almost got skewered. Oh, but we got gloves for it. Ooh. And it's 10% energy cost on all terrain. Nice. Now I could sleep. Get some of that body temperature up. And then lose it at night. You know what? Seems like a good idea. <laughs> wow. Plus, every time I level up, I get some stuff, right? How do I check my characters in? It's here, right? It's environment. Efficiency. Rain knowledge, snow. 12% less energy cost than snow. Night resistance. Oh, that's nice. Angel of some events, more XP gaining events. When you level up, yeah, I gain some stuff. So I could level up and get these maxed, but I'm gonna use my level up tactically. I'm gonna level up before I get to the next event. I'm not gonna go for that thing. Because then it will refill some of my stuff. 
I'm smart, ain't I? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they can go all the way there. I love these sprawling maps. But do I have what it takes? I don't want to go there. I just want to go stand there. Oh, fuck off, distraction. Ah, my leg! Take it slow is good. Gonna get that. Look at that, level up, boom. Puts my stuff up. Hey, do I get sanity as well? Energy, body temperature, oxygen, some sanity and health! Oh, that's pretty good. Alright. Take it slow now, you ain't to rush. Rip. Shelter, oh, it's normal cave, so I can just skip the night time. Then again, night climbing and stuff is more XP. Well, you know, environmental and whatever XP. Oh well. What's done's done. I'm not gonna go for that thing. I'm just gonna go for the idiot stuff. So these three up to the trade. Maybe can I like Oh Okay, so I would have to go up there and then climb back down. So what if I let's pre-plan. Grab these things. Actually grab these. Hmm, yeah. Grab these things, then come back for that. Grab that, then climb my ass up. A cave. I can go down to the anomaly, I just want to see. Can I go through? Okay, so it, won it goes through there and down probably somewhere, so I don't need to double back down and stuff, so that's not a dead end up there. That's all I wanted. Okay. So. Oh, that terrain sucks, and also there's something else there. Let's get closer to see better. Yikes. What the fuck is this shit? Let's leave the obelisk alone. Let's go here. Up, up to the chest. Then we're gonna go get the obelisk on the way back because that might refill some stuff as well. Yay! Holy crap, there's a cave. Ruined station again! Landslide, search through the rubble. It's just an hour, let's go. Keeping an eye out on anything you spot a hollow underneath the boulder, something glints. Provisions! Definitely worth it. I'm not gonna get that cave, although I could. Ooh, that's a lot of climbage. I don't know. These deep ass ravines. I, I could be like, hey, skip that. Grab these. And then get the uh, whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I keep this for last and then go up. A goat! Hello! Approach it in a friendly manner. Bye, goat. Put a level up. My friend, the goat. Control center, okay, uh, a snarl is coming from outside. I don't want to risk a snarl. Then again, whenever I level up, I get some health back. I never went inside, so I know what happens with the outside. There are at least two things that can happen. I don't... Actually, I kind of need the herb. Yeah, let's let's just look around. Hope for the herb. Oh, I didn't. I had to, I had to ex escape. Escape. Escapade. Okay. Wait, stop. That might give me experience. Warm thoughts? Is this the one with thin air? Yeah. More oxygen when moving and extra oxygen. Let's go with control breathing ones. So the thin air has been counteracted and then some. That's good. Shrine, sanity, and warmth. So shrines don't really give it. 
I don't think I've ever had a shrine that gave XP, but still, it's fine. Worked out in me. Oh, Jesus. Let's go up to the rock. Perilous ice! You're walking through powdered snow and suddenly your feet slip out from under you. A layer of smooth ice has formed beneath the snow, making walking almost impossible. I've walked on terrain like that before, it's not impossible. Just take it slow. Dude, I rode my bicycle across ice before. I'm a snowman. <laughs> oh, tw 28! Jesus. I'm about to drink that tea. Why did I lose heat for it? Oh, although, yeah, because night, but... What the fuck? Didn't even explain why heat. Encounter! Goat! I hide behind the rock too. Yay, thank you, goat. You're such a great bruh. Take it slow too. I, I always want at least two of that. That's amazing. <laughs> Some heat back. Is a trading? That's trading. Do I want... I mean, I could trade away one hot tea or a food. Check what is there. But first I should get the chest. And then go back to the trade and then go up to the cave. Yeah. Yeah! Get the obelisk for some heat. Hopefully. You know what? Stop there. Go around the obelisk. No! Stop! I said stop! What? Oh, it chose the shortest path! Son of a bitch! That's alright, it gave me warmth, so I'm, I'm okay with that. Stupid! Or maybe I had it clicked already and I didn't back out multiple times, because, you know, it backs out in segments. You know? Maybe I... Oh, whatever. It worked out, so it's fine, but... Gotta pay more attention. Yes. Mountain climbing is a very dangerous pastime or hobby or something. Is it a hobby? Yeah, oh, that's all right. XP. Night climbing. Very good for your experience. Bars post mission. That's why adventure is great, because adventure thrives at night so you can just farm night climbing and stuff like it's so good trade carefully open the door of a shack inside there are books and other documents piled on the, to the ceiling just as you are about to em enter can i buy xp a tall woman with long white hair suddenly appears in front of you a ghost she speaks to you quickly in a language you don't understand but you shrug apologetically i don't know <laughs> <laughs> she disappears, a ghost, and returns shortly after with a few possessions. So she wants to trade. We might as well, I guess. She would like some canned food from you, and offers one of her items in return. You choose. It would be nice to have an oxygen bottle. Then again, one canned food for a full bed? Mmm. Yes, sir. That's a worth. Because that's basically three times canned food. Or even six times if I long sleep with them, so that's pretty good. Nice, thank you, lady. I mean, she has a shack, she doesn't need the tent, I guess. Beep, boop, up, boop. I'm gonna sleep at during the day, I guess. Buried alive! Your path leads you past the sheer wall with snow towering high on top of it. You are progressive carefully when you hear rumbling. Instinctively, you assume a crouching position and take a deep breath. With a blink, within the blink of an eye, you feel the weight of the snow pinning you to the ground. Your only chance is to dig your way out. Dig fast, dig slow. Dig fast because we're about to go sleep sleep, so... Your brain is sensitive to a lack of oxygen that, and that death will take you in a matter of minutes. Dig as fast as you can, frantically panic-stricken. Then your fist finally breaks through the snow cover. You greedily drink in the ice-cold air. That was close. <sighs> so cool. Icy wind. Yes. Chest pain. Oh, I got struck. My luck has ran out. 
My torso. That's alright, we're not in the death zone, so we're fine. Lie down and sleep. I got some XP for it too, so it's fine. Long sleep. Tiny sleep. So tiny tiny sleep is enough. Because it's a Plus, uh, take it slow, will give me a bunch of stuff. Seven everything. Pew. Well, not sanity, sadly. Oh. Didn't it say it went around this way? What the hell? Well, I'm leaving that. I'm not going back for that. I should have checked before. Oh well. There's another one there, though. There's another cave cave. Obelisk. Shrine. A Skyrim Shrine. There's an event in the distance there. I think that's a dead end over there. It's, it looks like it's gonna become a choke point. So I should go that way. It's all snow and ice mostly. I'm glad I took the snow, less energy cost on snow. Yeah, I don't think I will ever focus on any stone energy cost reductions and stuff. You know, we're having less and less uh, stone. Look at all that ice. This looks like a, a brick breaker game. Pew, pew. <laughs> Dangerous terrain. Oh no. Actually, I shouldn't touch that. I should go for the anomaly first, because I'm gonna go back and go that way. Like down there. There's also a chest. Let's just go up there first. You know what I could do? I could apply a speed hack to make this faster, because honestly, there's no quick time event or anything like that. I could do an extra, like, 30 50%. So it would make the climbing faster. Although it would make the goddamn snowfall faster, and in storms it would be basically a mess. Yeah, so that's probably not a good idea. If I just played it for myself, I would, I would probably do it, but that would look that would look absolutely garble on stream. I mean, implying that it doesn't already look like that. that It looks like down there, that's a dead end. Oh. There was a sanction that wanted uh, anomaly stuff, right? I think these are the ones. Glacial Cave, oh, it's beautiful. Ah! Yeah, so there's one event, I'm not gonna climb all over there. Screw that noise. Also, isn't there like give up? Oh no, there's a button for giving up. I'm tempted. I personally can't really hear the music. I'm just gonna put it up a little bit. Yeah, that's better. I was like, where is the music? <laughs> Towards the caves. It's about to go nighttime, anyways. So, no blind. Oh, stop and relax. Or I don't want to get snow blind though. Let's just stop and relax a bit. Sit down in a rock and close your eyes. You need to protect them from the sun's rays so that you don't go completely blind. Pack some snow on your eyelids to cool them. After a while, the pain subsides a little. Tears dry up, but you feel cold now. And no shit. Night climbing, hell yeah, extra XP. <laughs> it's all about that sweet, sweet XP. Cave. Metallic clanging, yes. I use my torchlight or flashlight. Combine torch and light. I would rather combine torch and light than flash and light. Oh, <laughs> get it? <laughs> A tent! Damn, son.
four or three point nine. Let's. Uh, I don't need to sleep through the night. I mean, I don't need energy. I'm gonna get some four plus the seven from waking up plus fifteen for leveling up. Yeah, and I can still get some night climbing in for XP. Noise. Ah. Fresh air. I will not need to do fucking under the stars. I have like nine tent charges. So I'm gonna do fresh air. We are faster, stronger, smarter, and so on and so forth. I could back and forth on this dangerous terrain. Oh god damn it. Crunch is welcome to snow pain. Fall into a thing. Dig myself out or this way? You know what? I'm just gonna pull myself out. Ah, behind! Now I can't see whether that's a dead end or not. But I don't see a lot of stuff there. I see a cave in the distance. That's it. I'm gonna get this cave and then double back at the shrine. Not going back for that cave though. I'm gonna go that way. Hopefully, I can. Excuse me. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. What are you doing, you son of a bi- Oh my god, I didn't erase the fucking thing. Get some XP from this man. Oh, this one woke up. Begins to clear away. Oh. Then the one gently shake him, so he blinks at you in bleary disbelief. What is bleary? I don't think I've ever met that word in my life. Is that how you say it, Bleary? Let's check what it does. Ah, oh, ew. Right. <laughs> um, Bleary disbelieves, so. Sits up. After a while, he begins to clear away his camp and pack up his belongings. Before he goes, he reaches into his back and shares his provisions with you. Thank the stranger, but he pays you no heed. Oh, this, so it can be a, I don't care, and I lose some sanity to get some XP, or get some stuff and sanity. That's good. A band-aid. I sleep. I sleep a big one. Screw this game. I'm not gonna go back for that cave now. Screw it. I wanted to go back for that cave, then climb and get this cave, but... I messed up. So now we're just gonna go down for it. Oh! Great, it's a dead end no matter what, so maybe I should go back for that cave. It's a lot of extra shit though, yeah. I can't see! Look at this shifty eyed journalist. You know they are just an asshole. Go on the ice because dangerous terrain. Yeah. Also, traveling on dangerous terrain in storm. Also, extra XP, so. Going on ice. Yes. Slip and slide. Should have touched that. That's a dangerous terrain. That's just normal ice. Oh well. Trine, sanity, health. Sanity. It's not that far, actually. But then I would have to go back there, which barely consumes anything. Yeah, let's go. Cave it up. Dangerous weather at night, dangerous terrain. Why deep fault in the earth? Explore it. Use my torchlight! Or whatever. Get some snow boots! Alright. Then we can sleep. Long sleep. Oh, beautiful. Okay, now that's loud. Video game, you, you make up your mind with this goddamn thing, please. Nah, it's too quiet. <laughs> Whatever.
flat ass terrain. That's perfect. Oh, that's why it barely consumes anything, because this character has the flat ass terrain proficiency. Light steps. No! I didn't mean it to go. I'm trying to. Baiting some dangerous events. So all I lose is sanity. <laughs> I'm going back and forth. <laughs> uh. And that's the only way to make time go without sleeping and moving. So, uh, as far as I know, there's no waiting. Alright, this character, I don't know how good they are with cutting up deer, so let's give it a try. Oh, they're good. They're good at it. Alright, let's eat that. Eat that plant. Ah, it hurts. It's okay. Once we level up, we gain that back. Bit by bit. Dangerous terrain. So maybe climbing up here is a dead end. Holy crap. Oh, fuck off. Every time. Slips. Ruins. Uh... Take a long time. Yeah. Find nothing but experience points. That's alright, because guess what? Oh, fuck off. I hate these. This time cost of moving. Reduce energy cost of moving and climbing. Whenever you reach a point of interest, you gain some sanity. I have like three plants. Two. But that's like, how much do they give? 20. Yeah, yeah. At that for one day, there's minus 18% uh, energy cost. That's all right. Oh, look, there were more things. So, that's the stuff I looked at. So, uh, seeing or thinking it's a dead end, and it's not apparently. You can go through there. How about this thing? Okay, this is not a dead end either. I would like to get that event and down there. Down there is a Back around, so it barely costs me anything to do this. Let's do it. Injured mountaineer, tent hastily erected against the side of a rock wall catches your attention. As you get closer, you discover a sleeping mountaineer. He, his clothes are torn in places, and you can tell by his face that he's in bad shape. Can't say how long he has left to live, or whether he'll make it. I can help. <laughs> Try to help, I lose energy. Continue. Treat his injuries. Look through his provisions. I mean, I don't need the bandage, so... Treat his injuries. Clean his wounds and use one of your bandages to bind them. He opens his eyes and looks at you, bewildered. His strength appears to be coming back, and then he rapes you. I mean, <clears throat> Jesus. So you have him to sit up. He's very grateful and shares his equipment to you while assume, assuring you that he'll be alright from now on. And then he jumps off the cliff again because he's just trying to get some insurance money. Gives me some maskage. That's alright. We are ready for the uh, death zone, I guess. Trade and then another event. I want to trade in one of my tents. Boulders! Go quickly, move carefully. Be careful. Yes. Thumbs up! The dude that warned us gave us a thumbs up. Oh, oh W and S. Really? Walk and stop. Makes sense! Wow. <laughs> trade. Is he going to mug you? No, he wants to trade. He wants me a canned food. I'm sorry, but I only have one. Then again, I have three tents, so... Can I get another tent? Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna hoard all the tents. It would fit, too. Ooh, do I want all the tents? Mm. It's tenting. 
Uh, still don't know what the fuck these are for. Oh wait, these might my, might be for the flare guns. Maybe. I can get an O bottle. One dog. Four health. Forty-two oxygen. I have a bunch of extra oxygen things. I got the uh, the breathing stuff. I got this. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be in much trouble when I go up there. I don't need a tent. I'm gonna keep my uh, keep my food. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ah! <laughs> falling rocks. Now we're gonna play chicken with the falling rocks. Smash your boulder against. Wait. You fling yourself out of the way at the last seconds, but you smash your shoulder again. Ah, oh, I lost. Open your jacket and rub the injured spot. Hmm, rub it. It's not my shoulder. Oh, my soft tissue. I guess my shoulder is my ankle. Or I sprained my ankle while I smashed my... I don't know. Very light. Approach it. Oh wait! As you gaze around, you notice a faint light in the distance. It flits, flits back and forth, up and down. That's a trap. Let's go. Approach it carefully. As you get closer, you realize it's fireflies. What? Fireflies at five hundred, five thousand four hundred and seventy-two meter high. In the snow, in probably like minus sixty degrees or seventy or I don't know. What a beautiful and unexpected light show. It's an anomaly. But I don't think it was an anomaly, though. It was an event, right? Interesting. But it could have been bandits. That, though, is an event. Oh yeah, gain energy when... That's why I'm not losing a lot of energy. Every time I reach the thing, I get 12. Ta! Huh. That's amazing, man. Character is the uh, go from point to point. Oh my god, the camera. Very good. Limestone cave. The entire an expensive cave. Countless stalactites hang from its ceiling, some of which are longer than your arm. Ah, break them. <laughs> Water droplets trickle gently from the tips of the stalactites onto the rocks and into the pools below. The soothing tinkling sound they make as they land leaves you feeling calm and relaxed. The rock formations must be... Many thousands of years old, dating back to before the first traces of people on this island. It makes you happy to think that anything could endure for so long. You too are here to achieve something that will outlast you, unless you break them. Something people will talk about for years to come. Uh, not necessarily. The island might disappear. This character doesn't like leveling up. Okay, this looks very bad. I can climb up here. All the way to the cave. Perfect. It's gonna be a storm next day. Good. Sucks. Canyon! Oh. You approach a canyon and notice that a rope has been stretched across it. Would you. Who, who, who could have done that? And can you risk using it? Shimmy along the rope to cross the canyon or turn around and take a detour. Shimmy. Wrap your legs around the rope and pull yourself across the canyon inch by inch. The rough fibers of the rope cut into your palms, but you ignore the pain. You're almost on the other side when the rope suddenly goes slack. You swing forward and slam into the rock face in an almighty smack. Dish. With trembling hands, you pull yourself up the rope. The edge of the... Wait! Don't you goddamn have gloves on? How does it... How, are we bare palm but bare handed? What? Like even without that, we shouldn't. What? In the fuck? Uh, pull your rope the clay if you survive, but the is pressed. Prepared with bruises, that's alright. We're still far from the uh, death zone.
Not a man. Come on. Eat. Sleep for some heat. I only need a short sleep for that. Yeah. It's gonna go up to there because of the uh, waking up stuff. And I can level up to it. One more push. Significantly increase oxygen gain for a time, but increase sanity loss until the end of the mission. That's not good. Less energy cost on our trains, but more time cost. Yeah. We are never running. We are never gonna get tired here. Mm, well, I'm not going back there. Normally, I barely lose anything. Is the summit? I could do it right now. It's good to know. They have like three unused tents. <laughs> I wonder if I should take a tent next time. Maybe I should get something else for the 30 points. Although... No. Comet! No. Ooh. Shrineage. No, I don't even need to check what's an optimal route or not. Because my energy is just so efficient. F zone, take it slow. Or oxygen per hour for an entire day. That might be all I need to get back down into the valley. Summit fever, less energy cost. Nah, my energy is okay. I don't need... Yeah, take it slow. Oxygen is no problem now. Shrine, warmth, or energy? More tiles traveled at night. Yeah, distraction. Oxygen and debris, as far as the eye can see, you balance carefully on the boulders. So as not to slip and fall, suddenly, right in front of you, a shadow leaps out of a recess in the rock, coming straight at you. Oh wait, actually there's a shadow coming. I can't! BRB! I have a cat in my... never mind, he's gone. Ugh. I wanted to say I have a cat in my lap. And I just jumped up and was like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Alright. A bunny! Jump in fear, lose your bands, crash to the ground. You look up to see a mountain hare. Wait! What? Journalist! I mean, it could have been a... I don't know. A spider. Scraped your knee because of a boonie. Ugh, energy cost, no. Only grave, pay my respects. Yes! Big respects have been paid. Should I go back down there? Oh wow, look at all that. Side loot, hmm. Grab that, and then go up there. And then up there, and then bam, bam. Because there's not much here, so maybe I should do that. Wait, that's already the summit. I thought... Oh, that was that. I already went through that. Yeah, let's do the side stuff. Because, I mean... I could just beeline it to the summit right now and win. But... Missions, as far as I know, are not repeatable, so... Going down there. Oh, 
some XP. Plus I have a crap ton of provisions, so I honestly don't mind. Derping around on the mountain. I have sanity, energy, heat, replenishment. Oxygen comes back as soon as this goddamn chest pain. Oh, I don't even have the chest pain anymore. Never mind. Oh, well, oxygen comes back. Spiders reach. Yes, look at that. More energy. Stealthing. Oh, up there! And Look what I found! A secret shrine. <laughs> oh my God, that's so bright! Jesus, what was that? A nuke just dropped or something. There is my character. My character is gonna get some sanity. Some body temperature up in this. Buried. Fresno is piled. I could just take the tea. I always just take the tea. What if I just dig? You dig the snow until your hands grab hold of a piece of fabric. Continue to dig and finally pull a stranger up the snow. His face is pale and he has stopped breathing. Frantically try to drive him, but it's too late. You did everything you could. Dismayed, you continue on your way. And I don't even take the tea? Okay, from now on we just take the tea. What the hell? That's so stupid. Ice fall. Your breath is taken away. Someone put a camp in an ice. Approach. Wait, isn't this, like, dangerous? Check the slope. How breathtaking and surreal. The sight of the ice towers captivated you. You're distracted just for a second when it hits you on the head. You press the palm of your head against paper air. Blood drips on the lily. Lily white snow. Oh. <laughs> what lily? You know, what? Circulation plummets, but you manage to stomach the bleed, staunch the bleeding, and alleviate the pain. So why you're able to move? And worth it. <laughs> More XP in events. Yeah, no. More air, or even less energy cost on turn. Or less, that's not even more air, that's less time cost. Ah, uh, uh, but... Care about time cost. How do we go there? That's where Nightfall comes. We're gonna, we're gonna tent down there. Snow deposit, keep going. Slowly you range yourself forward and get scratched again. God damn it. And to sleep through the night. Get some of this shit away. And we can sleep there again. For fun! Still climbed like. Oh well, doesn't matter. I'm gonna get energy back because it's an event, so... <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> you enter a cave cautiously. As a, a ground disappears, a white deep fault. We always explore the faults. Because we have a flashlight! Shine your light into the fault and get a T. Nice. Then you can go ahead and sleep. But you're only gonna sleep a little bit. And take it slow, should refill that oxygen? Yes, good good stuff. 
synergy. Gotta love it. Although I still have to go down from the summit after I get to the summit, so it's not the end yet, but that's the difficult part. I might as well derp around in the death zone, because I have all those extra oxygen stuff. Ah, so you sit down on a rock to relax. A pleasant warmth slowly feeds your body. You touch the stone with your hand. It's warm. So warm that the ice and snow around it has melted. Why didn't you notice that before? You close your eyes and regain... Sanity. All the sanity. Although, finding a warm spot... Over six kilometers high... On the mountain might probably lower your sanity because you're like, oh shit, is this a volcano? Turning active right now? <laughs> Who knows? I'm gonna go for these two things. Because I can. Hey, my cat. I hope he's not having a problem or something. He started shedding, like, real, real much in the past couple of days. Yesterday I did a lot of combing. He didn't like it, so he shredded my arm. <laughs> Today I did the less combing. <laughs> But after my arm heals up properly, I'm gonna do another long combing session and get my arm shredded again. He really doesn't like getting combed. Although sometimes he's okay with it. Such is the cat. Fickle creature. Fecal creature, ha! <laughs> Encounter mountaineers sitting list listlessly on the icy ground. Listlessly. I heard that bird before, but I don't know what it means. What do it mean, listless? Ah, oh, just like sitting. <laughs> just sitting. That's a jaded mountaineer. <laughs> Doesn't seem to notice you. Give him an oxygen bottle because he's dying. Encourage the mountaineer to stand up. Oh, he's, he's suffering oxygen withdrawal. Ain't that the case. <laughs> I don't care, buddy. Goodbye. If I get really sad, I just eat some plants. Drug plants. Well, there's the dildo on the top. Every top has a dildo. Why? Boulders. Careful. Oh, no. My body's shaking. I should have read that, because was, that was new, but no way. It's fun. It ons. Climb the wall. Continue my journey. Climb the wall. Yeah, worth it. Oh look, the oxygen bottle I can give to the man. Okay, let's drink some tea. Look at that, look at that. Look at that! Ah! <laughs> Inventory full. Beautiful. To the summit. To the dildo. Oh my god, look at all the crap. I hope I don't need to go that way. Holy shit. Oh, I probably do. Look at that. That's probably the exit. Yeah, I reached the sky. I can touch the stars from here. I can smell God's feet from here. You made it. Your face is worn with effort. 7,200 meters. Nice, best number. But your hard work was not in vain. The experience you had and the information you have gathered about the mountain is bringing you step by step closer to your goal. Experience is... But of course, you still have to make it to your destination. Why can't I just, I don't know, beam out? Oh, it's not even that far. Unless... 
And I have to go around, of course. No, I could just do it right now. Do it live. Yeah, I'm not even gonna bother with the whole min-maxing the heights and stuff. Let's just go. I will, however, keep an eye out for any hiding uh, events. See any? Goodbye, Mountain Dodo number four, five. I don't know. Oh my God, snow blind, hiding place. You bang your knee in the rock. Make the crack. If I just go for it, I, sl I slash my hand again. That's all right. Oh, I didn't slash. Oh, I didn't slash it. Good. Climbing rope. Hey, I haven't seen that in a while. All right. I got some climbing rope action. Holy crap, I wanna go there. Journalist turning into a journeyman. Journey person. Happy Pride Month. Everybody. Oh, the rescue. Um. All right. You spot the deer stand. Two skeletal trees around. Just ahead of you. Consider walking up. You hear rumbling, avalanche. I continued last time. I'm gonna do this now because I didn't have energy for it, but now I do. As you rush to the deer stand, the rumbling of the avalanche crescendos to a deafening volume. You're still some distance away from your destination when the mass of snow comes thundering down the slope and tears down the deer stand. So it were made of paper. Miss you by mere feet. Feet? Disgusting. It missed you by dear feet, huh? <laughs> Balancing act. I have energy to waste on this. Yeah. Oh, bootsies! Body temperature where you're moving or less energy cost than snow. Yeah, alright. Under the stairs of oh, stars, stand under the stairs. Well, one more push or euphoria, less energy cost than all terrain, only in the death zone. Well, that's still active, so let's go. And I'm going back up there. Do I still have the. Oh, it just wore off. My climbing gear. Camp. You discover an intact tent. There is nobody inside, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. Camp is obviously being used by someone. It would contain valuable items. And it shall. Haha. <laughs> An unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder it and find valuable equipment. More bootsies. Less energy cost on stone. <laughs> I leave it. I don't need it. I'm gonna use my... Uh... Use another one. I think it still counts as an unused item. I don't know how the charge or the the items with multiple charges are counted at the end. Maybe they they count for more if you have all the charges left. But using an item also gives you XP, so it's fine. Not as much, but some. Snow cover. Yeah, turning around. Only some oxygen, so that's fine. Holy crap, how do I even? I think I need to go all the way down there. Glacial cave, nice. I could go for that chest. <laughs> uh, I won't bother with that. A dead mountaineer. 
He's dead. Okay. Wait, was that a random event or did I step on an event? I thought that was an empty tile. Oh well. Maybe it's just a random encounter. Climb down to save him? Hell yeah. Few feet, the ledge climbing ground breaks off. And the mountaineer died. A bunch of health. It's alright. Losing health is part of the journey. It's what makes us human. Losing health. Radio station, climb over it. I break my neck, that's alright. More strained conserved. Yes. I'm slow as crap now. I'm even gonna sleep. Ah, because I can climb in dangerous weather. More XP. I don't know. I don't know which gives more XP: uh, night climbing or uh, dangerous weather climbing, and whether they stack or not. Melody, oh the singing mountain. Candy Mountain, Charlie. Candy Mountain! Glacier. Quick or slow? Oh, I think it's slow. Because I lose energy, but I gain temperatures. Although I do gain uh, energy back with Evan. That is so OP, that thing. This enthusiasm is so good. 12 energy for every goddamn event. It's amazing. I love it. I love it so much! Enter a cave, uh, follow the wind, always. Didn't get stabbed, and I got some oxygen bottle. Hmm. Go bet I can't just eat this because I don't need it. That would have been a great thing to do. Ah, man. That's alright. Fly down and sleep it a little bit. Get some body temperature back. And I can climb in storm at night. That's the good stuff. I wanna get to that. Because that's an event. So we're gonna skip the... Uh, skip the exit. We're going for the... For the extra stuff, for the candy. Piece of candy, man. Points. Thoroughly search. Take a quick look. Ah! A tent! Ah. Lol. Four tents I could have had. Wait a minute. Oh, it just became normal day. I wanted to farm climbing up and down, but... I mean, it's, it's cold weather, but it's not a dangerous weather. I was pretty good. The energy uh, balancing of this character is awesome. Like that, that is just amazing. And I can make it even better by taking the less energy lost in Evans. Just never need to sleep. The only thing I need to balance is my temperature. It's pretty good. So I could maybe take less food with the journalist and more tea, I guess? Reach your goal. You know that the mountain is this merciless foe. This time around, he defeated it. Yeah. Ah! I, grow I go through the black and white portal. Hey. Leveled up with these things. Terrain knowledge and the event knowledge. Wow, look. Oh my god, 3,000. Because of dangerous terrain crossed. Holy crap, almost 2,000. Plus the mission reward. Wow, that's good stuff. Barely had any dangerous events too, so that's pretty cool. I like how it highlights it. 
when you hover over this it highlights what gave you the XP there. It's nice. Oh yeah, the journalist reward and the events experienced. That's also a nice amount. So, hours walked at night. Okay, so at night even walking gives some XP. Hours walked in the death zone. Hours walked in bed weather. Hours climbed. Night, death zone, bad weather. Okay, so it says bad weather, not dangerous weather. So even uh, climbing around in, in cold weather, I guess it's okay, because it's technically bad weather. It's only clear weather is not bad weather, because it doesn't have any debuff. Okay. Unused consumables, equipment item used. And the level ups. Okay, so level ups give the character XP. So with the adventure, this can be very nice and grindable. Hmm. Journeys was pretty good. Journeys does not need canned food. And also it's just a tent hoarder. <laughs> I use like two tents. Or two charges. <laughs> Excellent! You've successfully completed your task. Was it really rough out there? Nah. Aim upgrades. Alright, terrain knowledge. Less energy goes to snow, rock, or ice. <gasps> Five is the max? Ah, I'm reaching end game already. I guess let's max out ice, and then we max out danger, knowledge, and I guess if I still have stun, then rock. 15% reduced energy cost on snow, nice. So I don't really need to take the snow boots, but if I do, it's 35%. So even if I go through deep snow, it's not that bad. And I got Evan knowledge, reduced energy loss in Evans or increased energy XP gain. I'm gonna go for XP gain. All the XP gain. Yeah. Because now that I know that 5 is apparently the max. Let's do that. And these guys didn't level up, and this didn't level up, so I can do a new mission. Find 3 anomalies that reach the goal. Scale the summit and reach the goal. So what would this give? Event proficiency. Bunch of event proficiency from this, and some item proficiency. Scientist would give. Character and terrain. Let's go with the journalist, heck yeah, journalist is pretty fun. Expensive mountain, there is a great deal of dangerous terrain, hell yeah. Increased time cost on moving in normal weather. It's two star. I'm also to star. Take one more tea and one less canned food. Because journalist. That's that's why they have a yellow coat, because they are the energy character. The adventure has red because they are the temperature character, because they are good with body temperature. Because they suffer less stuff at night. And uh the blue one's, I guess, sanity or experience. Uh -huh. Gaze at the endless mountain vista. Somewhere out there are strange apparitions, smaller anomalies that are connected in some way to the time loop. You have to seek them out. Oh, and oh, another T mission. You find out more about them, and you have to learn to use them to your advantage. They may be able to help you get better, stronger, faster, smarter. <laughs> I, I... I called it! I, I knew this would be in the game. Aha! I already played this. Oh, what the hell? I can go backwards and there's a bunch of stuff. Time to tee it up. Something on just right on the other side. 
Well, I'm gonna go start backwards, because look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six thing just behind me. And a bunch in front. I mean, maybe at one, the, uh, at one point I have to come back. But honestly, sadly I can't see the rest of the map, because I start right in the fucking foot of a mountain. Can't really zoom out. Okay, there's the deal though. That's the summit I have to reach after I get the anomalies. So, yeah, I feel like. Oh, look at that. Okay. Ah, alright. Yeah, we're going backwards first. I don't think I want that cave. How far is that? Honestly, that's not bad. The energy I use up by came back when I reach it. But I don't need to sleep there. So let's first... There's nothing there as far as I can see. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna get those and those. That's a cave. After that I go for that cave, then I double back. Get these. Nuts. Then I climb up. Can I climb up from there? Oh, what? Oh, what? Got confused for a second. Okay, so I have to go around to get that. Maybe I should get that first, and when I double back... Oh, wait, there's a cave as well. Okay, so... New plan. That's gonna be the last thing. Then I go up there. Then I go... Okay, good, 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 good. First things first is gonna be that. And then I can come back, get these, slip in the cave, get those. Yeah, yeah. And there's a bunch of caves, right? Oh, there's one, two. That's gonna be now. Okay. Oh, there's another one down there. You know what? I'm gonna go for that. Screw it. I don't wanna climb that, though. Yeah, we're just gonna derp around. I don't know if I can detect all three anom anomalies immediately, or I need to get one, then another one, then another one. We'll see. Nothing in this direction. Oh no, it's inside me! I was the anomaly all along. Oh, that's another cave? Wait, what did I want? Oh, that. Okay. Rescue! Let's try it again. Oh, he rushed to the deer stand, but the rungs of the ladder have rotted through. You spot a broken crate on the ground. As you go to inspect the contents, you hear a whimper. An arctic fox, aw, is caught in a net and won't be able to escape without your help. By now, the rumbling of the avalanche has become a deafening roar. You need to hurry. Free the fox, and I get a good conscience for 24 hour. Send it again, and send it again in events and some XP. Or... I get more XP and food. All about the experience, my friend. Fuck the fox. We are not fox sympathizers here, we are goat sympathizers. <laughs> Goats warn us about cougars in bars and on mountains. Jump across my crack. Hold my ground. Hold my ground. Might of the avalanche is enormous. If you are nothing but a sheet of paper, it pulls you down into the crevice. A spike of ice bores its way into your thigh as you grab hold of a rocky outcrop. And in agonizing pain, you pull yourself up to the crevice's edge, saving yourself. Nice. 
Now we know. That's okay, level up will give me some health back. Metallic Clang, I have my flashlight. Bandage! Easy. Sleep here. Long sleep. How nice. Take it slow, obvious. Yes. I could take that. Just this one. Just going all over the place. I mean, there's so much back here. You know what? Hell yeah, let's do it. Um. Yeah. Kind of weird. The only thing I will have to worry about is sanity. The rest I can refill. Maybe I should have saved the fox. Zone switch. Get to the herbs. Mm. I just talked about the energy or the sanity, so I just get to the herbs. <laughs> Where the hell do I go? Oh, look, there's something in the Hey, back there, and something other. Holy crap, there's more. More than meets the eyes. But if I do that, can I go back? Oh, I can't. I'm doing what journalists do a journey. La la la. It's still that. I feel like it's gonna be one by one. It's fine. I'm not gonna go for that though. Distraction! That damn bunny. Strong smell? Alright. Unable to find anything except for some tufts of fur and bone. Yeah, so this must be one of the fucking the cougar events. I've only had it once when I test played this game to see if it's good for streaming or not. It's not good for streaming. Not much happens. Then again, people play all sorts of stuff where nothing much happens. Oh, you know what? Ah, dry and sheltered. Do I need some sleep? Sleep. It will fun. I mean, I do have take it slow, so I could just sleep briefly, lose some body temperature, but we gain that. And then I can level up to gain more. It's fine. Plus, time goes closer to night time, where we get the XP, so. Yeah. Warm thoughts, sure, because it's not a timed thing. Ooh. Then I can go down there. Go back up to the. Yeah. A lonely grave. Get some sanity, I think, right? Yeah, that's good. Sanity. Shelter in the cave. Ah, this is coming up along nicely so far. Even though I'm not getting closer to my actual mission goal, but... Rough stone? Yeah. It's alright, I have a bandage. Gives me like three health back, so I'm fine. Cave. Darkness, I like darkness. So far, this was never uh, a dangerous event, so... Or have, actually. Holy crap. Steep 
gain a bunch of body temperature back. Do another ticket slot too, yes. Now I can see. And now I can see at all. Where was the anomaly? Oh wait, it's, it's over there. Shrine. I have a bunch of herbs. I have like three herbs, that's 60 sanity. Good. The vision tree. Health. No, oh, we can get back to health, I guess. Alright, so what did I want? Do I want that? Immediately, or... I think I want to go for these first. A lot of sanity cost, but that's alright. Trapped. Neum, flat terrain. No energy cost. Corpse. Thoroughly searches. Yes, snow, snow stuff. Guess what? Ah! see what the trade ah uh, no, no 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 that's a trade let's get the item first or the chance for item then we see the trader <laughs> yes god damn snow blind S -s stop i already forgot what the snow blind gives but what if there is a permanent blindness and they just see like one tile ahead of you and it's all over Ruins, quick look, big look. Oh look, big look loses me less temperature somehow. Oh, because I gain temperature during the day and it turns to day, so yeah. Big look then. Speed, alright. Hello. He wants tea. Believe your Barely believe your eyes. Local is trundling across the terrain in front of you, leading a, a pony heavy laden, heavily laden with packs. They make your presence known. The stranger comes to a halt and begins and beams at you. He's doing the mind beams when he puts his uh, fingers to his temples and goes. Pew, pew. <laughs> he beams at you. They point to the bags and boxes and offer you trade with you. They use gestures to communicate they need a flask of tea. Do something from them in your turn. You pick. How am I with tea? Two tea. Two tea. I don't need a stick. Stick sucks. I could get an oxygen bottle, that's nice. Oh, 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 I mean, I don't need the oxygen bottle and it takes up a lot of space. But, take it. So I have it. It's all about the have, not the need. <laughs> I just have to have it. Shooting stars, sanity or energy or sanity. Where's that anomaly? Oh, it's right there. So I guess those are not temporal anomalies. There's something else. Anyone home? You catch a scent on the, wi on the wind. Burning wood? Piss? Follow your nose, and behind some rocky peaks, you discover a patched, dingy looking tent. Next to the tent, the glowing embers of a campfire emit a thin plume of smoke. You look around, not a soul for miles. Call out for an hour. Ugh. Search it. There might be a corpse inside. I want to lose even more sanity. Let's just call out. Nothing happens, no response. You call again. Suddenly, you hear a crack behind you as if someone trying to sneak up on you. you spin around, find yourself staring a pair of eyes. They're into a pair of eyes narrowed with fury. A local man, he shakes a bald fist at you, clearly wanting you to leave. Get the message, you hurry away. Ah! Stay warm. Nice. 
good stuff. Some good stuff right there. Yeah. Oh, there's the thing. Okay, good, good. God damn deep snow every time. It's temperature. High temperature. XP. Empty crate. An intact tent, nobody in sight. Embers are fresh. Steel. Oh, some bootsies. I'll take them. Sanity Mountain. Ooh, level up. Controlled breathing. Yes, that's good for... That's good for death zone situations. An extra 0 0.75. That's very strong. And plus it gives an extra 20 maximum. It's pretty good. Pretty good. If... Follow the light. Fireflies again. What are they doing in the snow? <sighs> sleep, sleep. Some of that body temp back. Like how this thing is shaking in the corner, like, Use me, goddammit! I'm just like, nah, I'm about to extract. <laughs> I'm back, back at the start, look at that. Well, now we're going for those things. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Oh! Okay, so this is just a random event. A corpse. That's the scientist. They also started, but they immediately froze. <laughs> oh, scientist. How silly. It's just a random event to give me some XP and reduce my goddamn sanity. Rubble, find it, find a way. It's just time. There's a bag on my wall. Bag, bug. <laughs> the bag. Tiny bug crawling. Cute little bug. I'm not gonna kill it. Unless... Unless I do. I uh, just watch the figure, I don't care. Level up! Warm thoughts too! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get another controlled breathing for now. Flashlight. Flashlight is so good for these, because I can just, just take it. Look at that. Gloves, more temperature, boom. I'm glad I took the the oxygen one and not the temperature. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. And do a little sleep. Honestly, I mean... Yeah, sure. Too bad there's not a nap uh, option or something. Look at that. Extra stuff hiding behind here. Nice. All that night XP. Nice. Oh wait, another one. Nice. Abandoned climate. Yeah. Sanity loss, I love it. I'm about to eat another plant. <laughs> Fairy lights, approach carefully, yes. Without letting the light out of your sight, you walk towards it. But you aren't paying attention to where you're putting your feet. What? Why would somebody be so goddamn stupid? On views, you look around and realize you've lost your way, that's fine. I didn't lose sanity for that, so that's okay. Cave. 
It's the cave. Let's my body temp back up and we're going to climb around at night again. Hell yeah. Call me the ninth climber. Oh look, there's the exit. Straight to the next cave. And before the next signal is back here and it's all empty now and I'm going to suffer. <laughs> Dang and shimmy. No, we don't want to lose more sanity. Let's turn around. Old smell. Cat? No cat. The water hole. Sanity water hole. Nice. Somebody come back. Intense movement. Ooh. I don't need that. XP gain for 48 hours or less time cost? Let's go with XP gain. Although there's not much else here I can gain XP from. Big climb, here we go. Farm that XP. Getting close to the death zone. Cave. I wonder if on hard difficulty death zone becomes 5,000 meters and you're almost constantly in it. Eh. Enter Wild's cave. Several passages lead deep into the mountain. You listen. Metallic clanging. Free item. Let's go. Pondage. I could sleep here, but I don't want to because I have a timed upgrade, so yeah. And timed upgrade means I gotta make the most of it, but there's nothing here. There's death zone right there. That's why I don't like these timed things. I took it for 48 hours, but half of it was, or at least one fourth of it, is already gone. Oh, jeez. Let's go for it. Stone circle. Stay and examine the area. Ancient cultures. Give me a hat. Okay. Now we can go back. Yeah. My sanity. Get my sanity back. Okay. Try health or energy. All right. That way. But oh, I saw something over there. Me. Oh no, what the hell is this? So I can go through up, or I can go through down. I'm gonna go through down, because I see something. Little hiccup. Look at that. 
It's a lot of body temperature. It's running. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, oh. Stuff. How long is this thing lasting? Another 24 hours. I got like two events in the last one day. Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, so for that I would have to go back around. But this one I can get. I gotta farm that. Gotta farm that temporary boost so it's, you know, it becomes worth. Because right now it's not really worth. Backpack, follow the tracks. Search the backpack. Not them sanity. Sure, follow the back. Grab the backpack and follow the tracks. Spot a tent shelter from wind between two sheer rock faces. You cautiously approach and poke your head inside. It's abandoned. And sadly, the backpack contains nothing but an empty brandy bottle. Disappointed. Hope nothing terrible happened. At least I didn't lose uh, whatever. Sanity. From this angle, I can see where the thing is. My sanity! Oh! Shit! Hate that one. Wasted my time from the bonus. Okay, I'd crop. Watch Uncle Bounty Ridge. It's steep slopes lined with grand. Gra gnarled! Jesus! Three, he's defying the elements. He spot an oxygen bottle on a fragile looking ledge. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I need that experience, man. From thoughts, one would push. Thoughts. What am I doing with a tent? I want tent. You know what? Reduce the penalty for sleeping without a tent. Plus 3.5 body temperature per hour when resting or in events. But only outside. Yeah, sure. So, if it's true that in events I get more body temperature, then maybe doing events at night is not going to be as bad for body time. It's only the sanity that's dying. Oh wait, survey. If only the camera wasn't shit. Honestly. This fucking rock thing. Gonna be up there? The fuck? Where is it? It's close by. Uh, gotta love video games where the camera is just annoying. Wonder! Yeah. Sanity! I mean, I do have some plans, so I just feel fine, but so. Oh, there it is. Oh my god, do I have to go around? Please, no. Wind. I dodged it. I got some oxygen. Oh. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought it would be, you know. But I would have I would have screeched if that was the case. Well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Yes. I mean, we don't have to. <laughs> it can always just be like, fuck this, give up. And it's like, you throw yourself off. With. You know that time will reset. Make this game into death loop. Oh wow, Stalker. Anomaly. Twinkling mist surrounds you. 
mists surround you. You stumble forwards. Finally, you make your way into the same type of transparent dome. Some type of transparent dome. Its glassy surface is covered in flashing veins of light. Yeah. It seems that without realizing it, you have entered an anomaly. You stalk her now. You rub your eyes, bewildered. A huge bird of prey lands on a tree stump, an ego with a white head and chest. You shake your head, confused. You wouldn't usually find sea eagles at this elevation. Seagulls. <laughs> Seagull. <laughs> Even though something is not quite right here, you are overjoyed to see the majestic bird. Once you have made a few notes, you say farewell to the eagle and continue on your journey. I mean, it gives me sanity. Wait, hold on. Is Sea Eagle just another way to say Seagull? Or is Sea Eagle an its own thing? Let me let me look it up. Oh! It's it is its own thing. Haliaitis. Haliaitis. Fish Eagle. Core called an Ernie or Urn. White tailed eagle. Jesus Haliaitis. Ali Ali eat this. <laughs> okay. That is some cool shit right there. Thank you, Eagle. That's one. kidding me get the fuck out of the ass of the mountain thank you all right so it's somewhere there Jeez. I don't want to go down there so I'm, if I can I go around that giant turd and up there it's getting it's getting bad the terrain so there's something down there and then I could just yeah, but very long climbs. Not good. Let's see. Yeah, I could do the go around. I'm gonna do that. Let's try it. However, I still have to go down and up. That's alright. But if I do the down and up. That's a lot. Skip that. Whatever that is, it looks like a cave. That's all right. Game is getting intense. Prime sanity. Yes. Another ego. One point five hours. Quick. Oh, for fuck! What the fuck is this? Uh, you sack of shit. Oh, you son of a bitch. And the rubble. Oh, me. My energy. Ah. Fuck it, I'm going for the tent, might as well, I'm down here. Jeez, that one goddamn tile, it didn't even... Ah. <laughs> oh look, the trade. I have a bunch of shit, so... Yeah, check it out as well. Cave me, explore the fault. Nice. All energy back. Plus the level up energy boost. Nice. Stay warm too. That's very nice. Fresh air one. Oh, I could get another explore the mountain. But this one would give me double XP in events for 48 hours. Yeah. 
sure. Goat! Ah, uh, my goat. A goat gives you a friendly bleat and shares its herbs with you. Aw, goat! You're great. I want to keep these boots for now. I don't know why, but... Why not? I think I could go this way, actually. But I want to see the trade. Goats are amazing. Falling rocks. Uh, play chicken with the falling rocks. Whoops, didn't work. That's alright. <laughs> That's fine, we have enough health. Trade. Okay, they won't. They're also... Wait, okay, so... A boulder grabs your attention, da da da. That's not all. There's also a pair of warm boots. Body temperature boots. I don't need body temperature boots. I have body temperature for everything else. I don't need these boots. I could just... Oh, oh yeah, I could just take it. I don't need it, so... What a waste, Tom. Sure. All right, I'll get most of my energy back from that. At least half. That's okay. Stone cave. Many thousands of years old and gives you some. Sure. A lot of caves here. Oh, goat! Hind behind the goat. Nice. Ah, that's why I like that goat. is good for experience. Ah, damn ice. Cave. It's cave, cave. Ah, but it's 10 hours of my goddamn temporary boost. Although I did get the goat twice. It's the friendly encounter and then the payout of this of the friendly encounter, but still. I can't go around this cave. Snoring man! Doesn't care. Not a buddy. Buddy Tim. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna just do this cave and then head back towards the mission. Objective. Cave with wind. That's good. Didn't get impaled. And I got a pickaxe. Although, two shrines, they don't really give XP, right? They just give you bonuses, you don't need those. So, somewhere there. As 
Looks like I can equip the flashlight or torchlight or whatever it is. The torch. Before events. Like, ah, look at this. I can just climb next to it so I don't have to do things. Ruins. Thoroughly search. Double oxygen bottles. Well, because I get XP for using them, but I also still have them. Haha! <laughs> I'm a smart man. What did it see in here? Oh, the death zone is coming. Yeah, it's gonna be in this thing, isn't it? Well, well, well. We approach it from here because... Is it get... what? Oh! Yeah. It's a dead end. Well. It is what it is. Also, my thing is about to go away. Nine hours. And it's not here. Screw you, video game. Screw you. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so W also can be used for stomping. Oh, Jesus, I can't, I can't swallow. I'm eating stuff, but... It's so dry. Stranger, wake up. Thanks. froze for a second. Lose some oxygen, that's fine. Sniff that good, good oxygen. Yeah, you know, oh, there it is. Run for it immediately. I don't even care what's up here. Actually, never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if I go to the anomaly... Good stuff. We can go from here. But this is not a dead end. Very nice. Just hiding in here. What the hell? Another one of this anarchic stuff. Come to a sudden stop. A wall of ice and light appears just a few steps in front of you. You found an anomaly! Look for candy inside. Astonished, you take a look at the apparition. The surface flickers and changes constantly. Ah, oh, now I want to play some Stalker again. And you almost feel as if you can see faces in it. After a while, you are sure you can see your own face, your reflection. But not as you remember it. It looks older, tired. Talk to myself, stare at myself. Or just leave. <laughs> oh wow, I'm running out of level ups. Jesus, like a level up monster. Journalist is pretty good. Because I barely have to stop for sleeping. Because of energy. Like, if I can get my temperature in, under control and can find a lot of uh, uh, event spots, 
It's pretty good. Indonesia's man below you, waving his arms frantically. Careful. God damn it, indigenous man. You made me do this. <laughs> Not going by for that thing. Oh, look, there's the summit. That's the deal, though. Warmth or sanity? Sanity. I go up to the deal, though. Actually, where does the thing want me to go? Son of a bitch. Need to go back. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. So maybe I am going back for this. It can't even... Can I go through here? I kind of want to go to the top of this thing, but... I know a way back down this way. And I don't know anything on this side. I'm the one to check. I'm gonna check. I have a bunch of provisions, so it's fine. Just a little time. Stuff there. Oh boy. Oh, not stuff. Oh my god, okay. All that end. Let's have to go all the way around. This leaves me with some energy, this leaves me with less energy, so this is less energy consuming when you do auto route. And I need to go back there. Somewhere there. <laughs> it's gonna be back at the beginning, goddammit. <laughs> Alright! Great! I'm gonna start moving in this direction. And immediately get fucked by this fucking shit. Alright. <clears throat> I'm not mad, I'm just extremely upset. <laughs> that always happens. That glissade or whatever the hell that is. The character is just touching their torso or something. They're having some fun with themselves in the snow. But it's not fun, it's sanity inducing. You know what? Eat one of them. Is there a maximum level? Because I took the stuff that gives me uh, bonuses on level up. If there is a maximum level, I can reach. Am I climbing the wrong way? I'm climbing the wrong. Have you done this to me? No, don't go! Fuck you! Stop, you goddamn degenerate piece of shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm upset now. Now I'm mad. Kept going forward. I hate that. Fucking GPS bullshit. Make your goddamn way down the fucking mountain one tile at a time. Ugh. Happy thoughts, calm thoughts. God damn it. Fuck happy thoughts. Uh, I don't care about this, so that's fine. Fuck. Happy thoughts. Gonna make the most of the night climbing. Yes. Environment XP. Oh, 
But yeah, sanity is going to go low. Really low. Um. Ah. Oh. Time to tent it up. Oh, I forgot to equip my goddamn climbing stuff. Damn, I could have had so much energy re just ah. 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 Oh. It's life. Oh, we're getting closer though. Oh, there's something there. Gonna be on the other side of this. So yeah, it's back where I started. Amazing. I see that thing. I have to go this way anyways to get it. Alright, let's plan and plan. At least I get out of the death zone, so the oxygen is not going to be a problem anymore. Did I equip the thing? I hope I did. I hope I didn't just open the inventory, look at it, make noises and then close the inventory. Okay, I equipped it, good. <laughs> oh! I could beeline it to the shrine thing. There's only one path. Just go. Alders. Always go carefully. Nice. It's 50-50 and there's no way to discern. I looked at the, the text and the text is the same every time. The guy is always waving frantically, so... It's 50-50. I guess if I could uh, memorize what negative in, uh, outcome gives the less painful stuff. Oh wow, two shrines? Don't mind if I do. Then I could just always choose one where I know that the negative outcome would be less painful. But I don't memorize these things because it doesn't matter, it's 50-50. Shooting star, yes. Sanitations. Great. It's great. Real close. All right. Go up there. Oh my God! What the hell? But that's why I don't like this hole, you can't, uh, well, apparently you can't detect them at the same time. Because the first one was around here, then the second one was over there, and the third one is back here, like, come on. What? It's right over the edge here. stuff there and then after that I have to get to the exit too In the danger zone. Great. <laughs> it's right back at the start. Ah. Ah. Yeah. 
So yeah, there was a reason why... Look, there's the starting, and it's behind. It's a... Yeah. There was a reason why there was so many things. There were so many things behind. It's right next to the start. I really hope... Can I just go into the extract after that? Or is it gonna tell me to go and fuck off to the other side again? Because I'm gonna just go to the circle and see what happens. At that point. Look at that, I can make it without getting tired. Good stuff. Because yeah, dangerous events are events as well. Although they're not point of interest, so they shouldn't refill energy, right? I need to take a, a watchful eye or keep a watchful eye for that. But I won't. It's fine. La la la. Also, to preserve my tent and keep the uh, unused consumables experience as high as possible, I could just sleep without a tent. <laughs> Although that would be goddamn thingy reductions. I think I will get a bonus after I get the last anomaly, so yeah, I can do this. Easy. No anomaly in front of you is a dome-like structure made of glittering eyes. It was right next to the start and this wasn't the first... What? Oh, I hate this mission. <laughs> no, not ice. The surface is as soft as and yielding as water. I know precisely what you have found. An anomaly... Are pounding, you walk into the structure, bright lights blinds you. Light blinds you. As your eyes have adjusted. If you go blind, you don't adjust. See, there are shapes forming in the shell. Lines and circles that come together to form stretches. Sketches of bears, rabbits, and even goats. Goats! They come to life, jump, jump and frolic around you, as if inviting you to dance. You begin to move with them, and your spirits flow together in ancient power. It is benevolent, and grants you... Sanity. A uh, little bit of sanity. Okay, so at least the exit is right there. I was about to be real upset and just go for the orange circle if it, say, wanted me to go to the dildo and then to the other side. You know, it's like, oh look, there's a, a bunch of stuff around the dildo. Huh. Cave, a chest, sun thingy. Ah, ooh, beautiful. As you know, the game could have just told me, all right, now reach the summit for extras and then exfiltrate. Or extract, or whatever the fuck it means. I can't reach it. Sir, I couldn't get stuff. I gotta sleep. I gotta sleep. Ah! Big sleep. Jesus. And I can just, just run it. Okay. I cleared up this entire place. You know, there were the hidden event things, the caves. Yeah. I've been here. So, is this considered bad weather? Probably, because it affects body temperature negatively, so... Yeah, walk in that bad weather, yeah! Anomaly in fresh air. Oh yeah, there's a time anomaly. So wait, since... Farm it. I hope the same tile can be used again. Canyon. Yes, farm it. <laughs> farm this goddamn thing. circle. 
probably more efficient to just climb the dangerous terrain destruction. Uh... <laughs> also, the events give XP, so yeah. And even if I go into the red, I have a lot of health, so I can take it. Never mind, I don't have a lot of health. <laughs> I just lost some health. Ah, injuries. The life of a true mountain climber. Actually. <laughs> yes! Rubble, keep going. Boulders. Oh, jeez. Ah. It's something I have to do. I, I want to see if this will give me a big ass boost at the end. I should have googled this. Although it, it gives me the dangerous events, right? So this these should count. Take a detour. Conserve my sanity as much as I can. If this is doable and if this exploit is an exploit and the game is like fine with it, then I might as well do this every time. Because finishing with high uh, stats or high uh, bars doesn't give you extra so might as well get myself as low as I can quickly yank my foot or lose some time losing some time gets me closer to night time which also gives me more stuff oh yeah the only limitation now is sanity because I don't have any Sanity refill. But I could still heal myself. I had two bandages, so I don't I don't know what happens when you reach zero sanity. I think it's the whole you go into red and you take damage. Or get very dangerous situations where you take a lot of damage. Da 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 You pause briefly to look around. You're considering taking a break as a shrill siren starts ringing in your ears. Ah! <laughs> I have no way of knowing whether it works or not, but... Oh. Holy crap, those numbers though. Dangerous terrain crossed. Alright, level up, gained 11. Hey, that helped. Leveled up for thingy. Um, mission reward. Item used, equipment consumed, hours walked at night. I mean, hours walked. Night, death zone, walked in bad weather. I did night bad weather for a couple hours there, so that should have counted, even if it's on the same tile. 
Because, like, in this mission, for example, there was backtracking, and I did cover the same tiles multiple times. So if the same tiles on, uh, don't count more than once, then that would be bad. So it should count. I don't know how the game handles this. Um, 40 hours walked in bed. <laughs> Ours climbed at night. I think... I think it counts it, because these are a lot. Yeah, I think I think it works. <laughs> Us climbed in bed better, and at night is the best. Also, ours climbed at night, bad weather in the death zone. That's the most efficient, because one hour gives you for all three. Hopefully. Dangerous terrain cross. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Mission reward, character reward, event experience. Also, Evans experienced. Dangerous events should count towards this as well. No. It might give less and less XP the more you get. So there might be diminishing returns. I don't know that. I should Google it, but this game is so niche. Last time I Googled things, like yesterday or last week, I don't know. Didn't find a lot. So it's, it's fine. Anyways, level up for all the climbers. Ten more capacity, and I unlocked the uh, the flares. I'm interested to see what those do. And I got a level for environment and terrain. Almost got event stuff. So I, I should have held on to get more events. <laughs> That's okay. That was good. I hated how I had to backtrack the entire Gundam map, but... It's okay. Bravo! Your alpine skills are most impressive. I wouldn't I wouldn't last a day out there. A cannibal. Torch. Only lasts eight hours. I mean it only costs five, so I could take four of this instead of this. Okay, so I have to activate it like like the uh, it's a consumable. Okay, then I don't like it. Because you activate it. And uh, from then on, it just burns for 8 hours. But how many events are you going to encounter that need a torch in those 8 hours? That's why it's, it's not good. I don't like these uh, consumable things. That's why I don't like the... Uh, Climbing rope, climbing rope either. Also, it's kind of misleading. It says five, but that's the inventory consumption, not the amount of torches. Same with these. I have ten herbs. Nope, it's just one. That's why flashlight or torchlight or fl flashlight. Yeah, it's it's better. Make sure. It costs twenty, but it's just there. And if I find something like the climbing axe. I can swap them. It's fine. Okay. Oh, I have a second. I will never take these. They're so plentiful in the thingy based. Let's see. Red flare calls for help. And green flare calls for a traitor. Ah. Do I put them here? Oh, these are also consumable. If I had an extra 5, I would take an O2 canister, but I don't, don't have it. So instead, I'll take extra sanity herb, yes. 25 for this garbage, what the hell. This glove is not bad. And I like the crampons as well. But... This is fine. Although if I go with another uh, climber, then I'll 
take out a hot tea, put in an energy instead. But the journalist, journalist doesn't even care about energy. I shouldn't even have the canned food. I don't, I don't think I would need it. But it can be used for trading and other situations, so it's good to have. Team upgrades, let's go. Terrain knowledge. Yeah, so snow is apparently maxed out, so I'm going with this. Ice, ice baby. The snow maxes out at 15%, but ice is already at 15%. Because this one gives 5% per level. This only gave 3. So this will be at 25? Ah, interesting. I got some environment knowledge. Night resi, death zone resi, cold weather and storm resistance. That's not a lot. Body time. This is basically a hat. Or, uh, or a gloves worth of stuff. This is pretty good. <clears throat> Alright. Characters. Adventurer. Max out that night stuff. Yes. At night. We are amazing. Right. Scientist. I want to go with these things. What is that? You wake up, you get some more energy. So I guess the scientist can do brief sleeps and be okay with that. Sadly, these cost 150, so I can't even get two of them. Courage. Suffer a dangerous event, gain experience. Nah. These energy refill things are pretty good. What else is there? Oxygen on snow. I shouldn't have taken this one with the snow. I should have gone with stuff like sanity or body temperature. Sanity on ice. Herbs. I'm gonna go with the other herbs as well. And then who knows. Journalist! Journalist, I said I was going to go for the efficiencies. I feel like that's, that's good. Oh, less sanity loss? Yeah. Honestly, journalist might be the best. <laughs> Never run out of energy, good against sanity loss. Because I can just go very long distances for far out events, because I know that the event will restore the uh, large chunk of energy, and I don't lose a lot of energy and sanity in the events. I can just go. Plus, leveling up it refills more things. I feel like Journalist is better than the Adventurer in that regard. Sure, Adventurer doesn't really feel the night. It's basically the same as the day at this point. And it gives double XP, but... I still can't go very long distances between things. I still have to plan out a more strict way between objectives. And just go willy-nilly into the distance. Because I still run out of energy. Although I can increase it by a lot have a good starting bonus. And there are these active things. Just time. Just helpful. I like the journalist. That's a good one. Oh wait. Oh there's wait, I have fifty more points, so this thing is going to stay here, even though I can't I can't use fifty points. You son of a bitch! Oh, that's annoying. Alright. Do I want to do another one? Two and a half hours? Uh... 
Oh, it's another journalist, though. This turned into a journalist. It wants me to do journalist, and I want to do journalist. Yes! Gangster! And event proficiency. Rough terrain. Terrain on this road is very challenging. Energy cost and time cost. But it's friendly weather. Is more likely. Which is not good, because bad weather is what we want for extra XP. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is a good setup for this guy. Although, maybe the sanity plant is not going to be as important. Because I got the... Although that's only minus three even events. And if I travel a lot, which with the journalist is viable because the energy is not really a concern. Sanity over time will be lost. So yeah, I guess... I guess the plant is okay. Is this... It's two star again. I only need to scale the summit though, so it could be fast. I'll do it, but first I'll deal with my cat. I was muted. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is this is good. Yeah. Did I zero it? Yeah. Good, good. Let's go. Throat journalist. A new task waiting for you. Let's go. But first, I'm gonna go and take a pee. Because suddenly I... I feel the urge. The water, the toilet. BRB.
Okay. So, where is the summit? Oh my, oh, what, 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 oh, that's the summit? Oh yeah, that's the deal though. But what is that? What is that on the other side? Holy crap, where am I? How did I even spawn here? Well, there's a sun thing. I don't think I want to climb all the way up for that, but I will go back for that. Although that looks like a trade event. Yeah, I'm not gonna play Mountain Goat and go all that way up there. They're gonna focus on the task at hand, which is to go to that location. Grab all those. Okay, this one is very lo rocky. Sun doesn't have a lot of snow and stuff. And the summit is also close. But I don't see a lot of events. Maybe that's why it's difficult. I see a trade event there. I see a couple of things shining in the distance there. Two things. One more there. But I see more stuff over this way. All do's, all do's. One thing there, another thing over there, another thing over there. So that's gonna be my. My objective, I guess. I'm not gonna climb down there. I see a, a one tile wide ravine again. I'm just gonna. Whoops. Gonna go there and blah 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 blah. Alright, cool. Where's this thing? Immediate trading? Actually, first, let's scratch that and then we can trade, yeah. Ah, the journalist takes another challenge. Another mountain. The journalist. Ruthless, savage, merciless journalist. Gonna destroy this bitch ass mountain. A nest! Destroy it! Discover a bird's nest. Extremely unusual at this altitude. I've seen worse, dude. Like 7,000 kilometers. Or <laughs> 7 kilometers. <laughs> Jesus. 7 kilometers there we got then. What was then? I don't even know. Some kind of fireflies or something. Find some herbs in the nest. Alright. Can I sell those herbs? These birds are whack. Trade. An open hot glowing coals into fireplace. Da, da, da. They want my tent. Oh no, on the wait, what? Inhabited, but the owner appears to be to have fled. On the table behind you you find a tent. So I can trade for a tent. <laughs> God damn camera. There's no way to go there. Oh. I just took the tent. I don't care. <laughs> Fuck it. I have three plants. I can... I'll be fine with the sanity for now. Berries! Sanity berries. Oh no, they are energy berries. I mean, they also give experience. It's fine. Dark tunnels? Yes, baby. Dark tunnels, best tunnels. Oh my god! Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I done sleep. I don't even need to. The game even... The game doesn't even let me. Or maybe it just froze. I think it froze. Yeah, it... it oh, everything froze. 
Oh no. I think I still hear the game. Oh, there we go. The game is back. But yeah, OBS died. Alright, great. Oh, such a disaster. Disaster. fuck is happening what the fuck is happening oh you're back <laughs> damn son So, yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess I will hear if there was a stream end or not. 5,000 frames were lost. Because everything was frozen on my end too, so. Yep, okay, stream restarted. That's alright. I'm okay with that, I didn't do anything. I was just contemplating why it's like, you know, not doing anything, so I don't need to sleep. But I could get into the night time. Mm, oh no, I don't get to uh, take it slow. Oh no, what am I going to do? Uh, let's get this to ensure that we don't have problems in the death zone. I mean, I could go back for that cave. And then back down. All I need to do is scale the summit, and it's not that far. There's a lot of high climbs, but my inventory is bursting with stuff, so... That's alright. Let's go for the cave, y'all. Oh. oh, fuck off, Dave Snow. Did I make it? Oh, I made it. Wait, how did I make it behind that? How did I do that? Wake up, stranger. Yes. Oh, he beat me? What the fuck? How nice. Should have read what it did, but I thought it was gonna be either you know he wakes up and leaves, gives me some stuff, or he doesn't wake up. But apparently he beat my ass. <laughs> I think I've been raped. It's not funny. Yeah, kicked my chest in.
Okay. So far, so good. Although, apparently, the internet speed is kind of shit. I saw it just dip into the red for a little bit. Only dropped 49 frames, though, so that's good. Mm. Oh, that's also just a 50 50 chance. You don't get there in time, or you, you do. Singing Mountain, it's nice. I kind of want to see those three things over there. And I can go past, so that's that's fine. Let's do it. I'm going to purposefully avoid them, because they refill my stuff when I uh, step into them. So I'm gonna step into them on the way back, so let's do... Not lose a lot of energy. Plus one of them is a cave anyways, so... Hello. Shrine. Well, never mind. Shrine gave me the energy back. Sanity. Right, now the death zone is not going to be a problem. Berries. Yeah. XP less sanity, that's alright. I hate this one. It stops me. <laughs> then I have to press the button again to start moving again. Fishing tree. Wow. Injure Mountaineer. Looking through his things and then he twitches. Quickly steals some oxygen tanks. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, boy, you don't need that. You're gonna die. You're gonna die soon. And I rejoice. Bubble. Try it. Spiders touch. 0 0.1 sanity loss. Thanks to the, uh, the robust mind. Wow. Amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> Journalist is OP. Goat. Friendly goat. Some thoughts. Wrapped. Yank it. Clear away the rubbles. I don't want to sprain my ankle or anything. Oh, I left those. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff. Is that going to be the exit? <laughs> Pick up. Oh, you approach the mountaineer, but he doesn't react. You bend over and gently shake him. The second you touch the cinder, he leaps up as though he's been sung, stung by a rattlesnake and knocks you flat on your back. The light covering on the ground, he packs his things and disappears. 
So he doesn't beat me, he just knocks my ass over. Okay. Uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't shake strangers. Maybe I could just, I don't know, call out or something. Call out New Vegas. And there's a trade up high there. I'm gonna look at that. Because I have a lot of stuff I don't know what to do with. Hell yeah, goat. Being friendly to the goat gives you extra XP. Buried, take the two. I'm not digging these out. Nice. So I reached the death zone, but it didn't give me the event for the death zone. Shit. But I'm gonna go back to the trading. It's gonna take a lot of energy, but that's okay. Oh look, there's a cave on the way. Deposit. Ah, my chesticles. Oh, that's zone. There it is. Eight hours, twenty-four hours. Sanity recharge would be nice. Let's do that. Temperature boots. So temperature is not an issue anymore either. There's a summit. See so a trading the shrine. See another shrine. Basically approachable for every, from every angle is nice. I want to go back there though. I think there were some things, but I can't really see because they are behind the band. Maybe not. Maybe there were nothing. No things. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, there's nothing. Oh, I saw dudes. Oh, okay. Holy crap, why would I want to go that way? Yeah, I literally see nothing here. Okay, so that was a bad idea. Oh, I guess we do the big climb up on this thing. Or go around it. I like this suspenseful music, but it's too quiet. But if I if I turn it up, it's gonna do that random ass loud sound effect. I'm gonna be upset, sad. Although I'm again in a wind tunnel, so maybe that's why I can't really hear the background music. Although the climbing noise is nice and loud. I wait a minute. That's to sleep. Plenty of health. Warmth, sanity, nice. I could beeline it to the summit, but honestly, I don't care. Although I have no idea what's on the other side, and the exit is probably going to be somewhere there. Maybe it's a hell world on the other side. 100% dangerous ice terrain or something. We'll see later. So they want the canned food. I have a lot of canned food that I don't really need. I could get my tent back. I could get the snow stuff. Ooh, that's better than the temperature boots. Ah. Although, there weren't a lot of snow on this map, so far. Jesus, there's something way over there. But that's alright. Energy. I sure these are ice boots. Not a lot of ice either. Although, still, I see more ice than stone, or than snow. There's a lot of snow over there, but I'm not going. I guess there was a lot of snow at the start. But, like, the summit is mostly stone and ice. Best. But temperature is doing perfectly fine. Disturbed snow. It is, the snow under your feet is churned up as if recently moved around. Could someone have been digging here? Dig around just beneath the surface? Dig deep? Dig deep. Nail down and use your hands to dig through the snow. You can feel the cold creeping up your arms. You're just about to give up when your hands hit a hand hits a hard surface. A corpse! Crumbling wooden crate containing provisions. You take what is still good. Sa Climbing gear. I guess use it. Rocky slope. Climb over? Yes. My hands. Oh, my poor... Are you kidding me? Oh, it's still minus 10% energy cost, so that's fine. How long does that... The hands last for 15 hours? Backpack. Just search the backpack. 
empty backpack with the, the, the drunk man died somewhere. All right, let's let's call him. A lot of energy. Cost. That might be where I need to go down for the or maybe the exit is over there, but honestly I don't really care. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I say well less energy consumed on ice climbing thanks to my other thing. Minus twenty-five. Minus thirty-five altogether, but this will go away soon. Ah, I mean, Maxing is back. Is that dangerous ice? Yeah. Oh. oh well. I don't need to farm that one dangerous ice. <laughs> ah, look! The dildo has dangerous ice, anyways. Yes. Take a selfie with the dildo. A, brad a bad dragon or something. Falling rocks. I don't move. Ouch. Try to play chicken with the mountain, but it doesn't work. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff peppered around. Yeah, you made it to the summit. Beautiful view is the reward. But more than that, you've gathered plenty of valuable experience that will help you survive up here. But you have not yet come to the end of your explorations. You still have to reach your goal. Oh, down there? I was expecting something worse. Like... I don't know. There. Oh, hey, there's a chest over there. What the fuck? Let's go. <laughs> what the hell? Is this a volcano with a mountain in the middle? Look at that. That's pretty cool, though. It's uncrossable. Ay, ay, ay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How about. Go down here into the valley, get some stuff. Da 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 da, get some more stuff. Da 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 da. Or da da. All right, good. I can go around it. But now I only need to plan out which way might be worth more. One, two, three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, and then... Eight, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven... And I can go around. Okay, we're going this way. Okay! Down back where I came from. Damn, we're high. a little better. Oh look, the chest. Mm. I go for the chest. How do I go down? I need to fall. Go back to this way. I go to the chest. Go down. 
to have to go around. Well, there, are, there are a couple things down there. And then get these things, all these things, and then go that way. I can leave. Yeah, alright, let's go for the chest. Should have checked whether this was better than this, but this is less climbage. Thing. I also have. God damn! I completely forgot it. But now that's a bad idea. Goddams. Eat your goddamn soup, because now that I use the climbing rope, I don't want to go to sleep, because then the climbing rope is, or climbing whatever the hell is wasted. Closed container? Oh no, not this. Screw you. I'm not doing that. Yeah, climbing. Screw that goddamn container. I can never open that. Oh my god, this leads into the deepest bowels of the earth. Jesus Christ. Wait, I already injured my goddamn hand again? So far I haven't seen a crowbar or anything. <laughs> Maybe I could use uh, the uh, climbing pick. But oh well. Eat that thing, fuck it. Getting deep, deep into the bowels of the earth. Ah, this is the bad part. Ah. What can you do? Oh, this thing. I don't really want to spend the garbage on that. I need sanity. Please. Thank you. I'm still in the death zone, but not for long. I'm okay with the oxygen loss. Alright, now where were those things? Over there, okay. And then we go down over there. To loop around. Cool beans! With the sun. It's collapsed over here. Oh, goddamn rubble. Let's go. Just injure yourself. It's fine. Ooh, legendary. It's orange. <laughs> There's one exit every level. Well, one starting exit, I guess. Stay warm, body temperature, that's good. He did that.
Buried. I take the tea. I will never dig these out ever again. Look at all that tea. Ruins. Thorough research or just... Well, thoroughly searching is better though, because it becomes daytime, so yeah, sure. Two oxygen tanks. Uh... Sniff that air. Stop! You're violating the law. You approach the figure, their face is concealed by a shadow. When he, when they notice you, they back away, whispering what sounds like threats. Then you feel a stabbing pain in your chest, your vision goes black. And your legs give away. Give away. Ah, oh, that? I don't like the sound of that. They come to the strangers disappeared and you have some... feeling in your butt. Along with the... disappeared with the, along with the pain in your chest. You set up... the overturned obelisks in the original positions. Discovering provisions in the process. Look at that. I gained sanity for that though. That's nice. Ah. Drink that tea. Yeah. Damn, journalist is a tank. Hey, do I have two tents? Oh no, just one. Ah, one is enough. More than enough. Haha. <laughs> You can always sleep under the stars, yes. Very light approach. Yes. Thank you, Eagle. Give me that sanity. Yes, baby. Anything up there? Oh, there is stuff up there. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Because that's a cave. I can sleep there. And then I can climb down with my climbing gear. Because I still have two. Let's actually get closer. Uh, it barely loses any ex uh, energy, this route. Although the big climb is just coming. I can't look up there because the camera just doesn't like it. Honestly, I don't need it on the way up. Because I'm going to sleep in that cave. On the way down, however, I will use one. Try and health. health. So I can sleep in this and that will give me warmth. Wake up, stranger! Hey, pays me. Yeah, stranger, that's some good shit. Now I can actually just climb down. And then use my level up to regain some of that energy. I lose. Yeah, good stuff. Of snow cover. I have to double back, huh? It's okay. Oh, take it slow too. Nice.
Dang it. That would have been the better one, I think, but... Oh well. Not anymore. Okay. Oh, corpse! Search it. <laughs> to the journalist, it's all just bee's knees. Counter, give him the tea. Yes, good, good, good man. Cat, fur and bones. That's six hours, but it ticked seven times. Test! Dig it out. Yes! Look at that beauty. Might as well. Don't really care though. Great, snow blind. We're not stopping. I just used the goddamn timed consumable. God damn it. Oh, he's back. I won't take the tea back, thank you. Good, sir. Good stuff, my man. They repay kindness with kindness, just like the goat. Torches. Crates filled with dynamite and st are stacked in a small cave. Oh boy. Behind the crates you can just make out a few torches. Now, those would be useful. Nah. <laughs> oh, they wouldn't. Carefully move the crates out of the way. Move the crates out of the off the crate, but out of the way until you have created a narrow corridor leading to the torches. Quickly store them in your pack. Nope, I use them. <laughs> yes, now I can see forever. Well, I'm not going up there though. Fuck that. I could, but it just takes too, too much time. Trading. They want... Oh, there is an oxygen mask. I could just steal it. I mean, I don't have a mask. It's the second person I robbed this time. I took the tent and I took the mask. Or, or wait, did I take the boots? I don't even know what I took at the beginning. Doesn't even matter. Is there anything cool in there? Mm, so those things are there, but I don't care. I could go for those things. Oh my god, I could just roam around. Yes, that will be. The journalist. They own this mountain. Except the mountain reminds them that the mountain could crush them anytime. Whoa, Sugoi, the 
less time or even more warm thoughts. Fighters, hasty. Less energy consumption on ice, so let's go with the ice. Ice way. Oh, there's more things. Saddlebag, that's new. It's got a large leather saddlebag lying on the ground. Relax, or right next to it. <laughs> Relax, oh my god. It is called faded hoof prints. Uh oh. Did someone shoot me? Find some herbs in the settle bags. Okay. Ah tasty herbs. Ballers, careful. Ah. Look, I'm on the other side. Oh I didn't see that. Although, yeah, I would have not went for that. A tree! Nice. Who doesn't like a good tree once in a while? Up, down, down, and to the exit. We're almost done. Oh, actually, I can't go there. So. It's all blocked off. I guess then down and up. Meticulous. Fuck! I never move. Aha! <laughs> they missed me. I'm in this time mountain. Haha. <laughs> uh oh my god, three more just opened up. Hell yeah. Camp. Search the camp. I don't even care to steal that shit. Ooh, I didn't have gloves still. Nice, 10%. 10%. Yeah, go with dangerous, dangerous, dangerous terrain. I gotta farm dangerous terrain experience. Yeah. Gotta be a daredevil for that XP shrine. Health on energy, obviously energy. Ha, who needs health? Going all over the place on this mountain. <laughs> Oxygen bottle. Oh, this thing. Dig. I mean, I can easily dig towards it. <sighs> Just for the sweet, sweet air. Mm. Getting the darkness. That's what I like to see. Oh, look at that. Sleep in it? I don't even need to sleep in it. A dead man! Hell yeah. Thank you, dead man. One more push to explore the mountain. There's more stuff. Okay, I'm not going for that. Screw it. Enough is en enough. I, I don't I don't need to. Then again I could. I'm done and safe him. 
Oh look, it, it worked. After some time it reached the bottom. With great effort you managed to save the mountaineer. His gratitude is beyond words because he's, he's, he's mute. I don't know. Get the... Oh, that would be my last tent though. And I still need to make it down. There's more shit there. I want to keep as many things as I can for that sweet, sweet, unused consumables experience points. Then again, it says consumables, right? So the boots in my equipment, uh, in my backpack, I could have two more consumables for that. <laughs> Delete those boots. Body temperature is not a concern. Just okay, gives me some sanity back. Some energy, of course. I completely forgot how to get back there. I go for that. For this. Okay. That works. That's an energy cost on ice. And there. Spiritual journey. A stranger is sitting motionless on a rock. His naked torso is adorned with tattoos. Oh yeah, this guy. How is he not frozen to death? Up to. You approach, he hurls a rock at you. Grazes your shoulder. Doesn't want to talk to you. Ow. My shoulder. Damn, I'm dying. You think you can hide from me? Ah ha think again, little shrine. Oh, and there's a sun symbol as well. <laughs> Just going all over the place. <laughs> and then I can get the cave too. Hell yeah. This ride will never end. How nice. Oh, happy flowers. Yeah, that's a big level up. Nice. And I can do more explore the mountain. I'm gonna stay warm temple what times two though. That's good. Yeah, this mission is going to give a lot of XP. Nice, follow the smell. No cats. Alright. I could go back there. <laughs> In the end, I will make it for to do things. now. I won't. But I'm going to go back for do. Barely takes anything. Yeah. That's amazing. And while this thing goes, I can just eat more of this thing. Yay. What the hell? Oh, it works.
What a rude interruption. I'm avoiding the exit. I don't like that beam. It scares me. What are you doing? I did. What the fuck? Stupid shit back. Form a little bit of dangerous terrain, a little bit. Just a, just a tiny bit. Mm, yes. Yummy meow. Dab on the mountain. dangerous terrain over there oh just climbing oh there's some yeah <laughs> I'm gonna do the climbing although this could have been better but my ankle oh what the fuck happened oh my god camera camera it's bad bad real bad <laughs> it's long. Oh, oh, my God, immediately climb over them, sure. Uh, this is an exercise. Both in patience and farming. Rubble. Screw you, Rubble. You don't scare me. Oh no, it's daytime, no! Still, I'm climbing dangerous terrain, in bad temperature, it's fine. It's not as good now, it's fine. Jesus Christ. It's gonna take a while. I should have done the uh, the triple dangerous ice. Just walk back and forth. Oh well. If anything bad happens, this is right next to the exit, so I can just leave. Ow! My leg. My beautiful leg. I feel like the uh, terrain experience is more important than the level up my uh, whatever the hell. So 
So we're going to do this. I should climb the amounts of dangerous thing. To see whether at the end it you know clearly makes a difference or not. Hopefully these count. I mean these are events. Just randomly breaking my leg twice. <laughs> oh no, both my legs. Journalist the Terminator. <laughs> oh nice. Only I also had a bandage, but sadly I don't. Oh yeah, bad weather and night, nice. <laughs> it just got better. It's already broken again. I'm not gonna do more, I'm just gonna go to the exit. Go quickly, move carefully, it doesn't matter. And this is all done in the death zone as well, so actually it's not bad. Oxygen just doesn't. But since it's in the death zone. I literally don't lose energy walking on just flat terrain with this guy. Because I spend hours walking in the death zone at night in bad weather or just in bad weather in the death zone. This is still experience and it's a lot faster than going through this fucking thing. Ah, and it doesn't give me a uh, stupid stuff. Hmm. Ah. Should do this. <laughs> this is an MMO now. I need to get my experience farming. Oh yes. Listen to the dice crunch. I love this. This is what I live for. Ice crunch. Holy crap, walking for days back and forth. Barely going insane. There we go, that's enough. The entire night again, plus this day as well. Oh, amazing! Imagine it not even counting this, because the game clearly realizes that I'm just farming, or trying to farm. We'll see though. We will see. Well, I guess we won't, because, I mean... Spent a couple of days just doing this, so I might be able to figure out whether it changes anything. 
Hopefully it is exploitable, because otherwise I'm literally just wasting time doing this. I should have googled it, but oh well. I can always google it. Later. Yay, reach your goal. You won, you defeated the mountain, you dabbed on the mountain, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Made it my bitch. Gigantic crater with a steep conical rise. Ah. Holy crap, I think there's a... I think there's a cap for... Gain, or maybe not, this is more than 3000. <laughs> Mission reward, level up gains, another level. Item used, equipment, unused consumables, yeah. So equipment is separate, okay. I was walked at night. I was walked in the death zone. I think it counts. That's a lot of hours walked in the death zone. And most of it was just the back and forth on that ice and the uh, that dangerous rock climbing back and forth. Yeah, I think it counts. <laughs> nice. I was walked in bad weather and I was climbed in the <laughs> Yeah! Take the reward. A lot of environment and terrain. Actually, the terrain was only... Was only the dangerous terrains crossed. Yeah, too. I should have done the back and forth on the... Um, the, the triple dangerous ice. And that could have given me more events as well. Hmm... Although I think ice dangerous events are not as good or not as uh, easily shrugged off as the rock one. It's where it's like, oh, a boulder, oh, it hit your shoulder, whatever. You know? That's nice. So another level up and another 24 environment and events. Nice. Ah, the journalist just spits at the mountain. Spits. <laughs> Bravo, your alpine skills are most impressive. Thank you. And it's gonna be even better. <laughs> I shouldn't even do the energy loss. It's not even an issue. More sanity gain. Careful steps. Even less energy cost on all terrain. So wait, would I gain energy on flat terrain with this? Because I already don't lose energy when I'm just walking. Dude, what the hell? And then I could just gain energy by walking back and forth. And the only thing I would have to manage is sanity. Oh no. That's why this one gets a lot of health and sanity bonus. This is the one where you just farm. And farming basically just... Kills your sanity and health over time, but nothing else. Oh my god, this is the farmer. The journalist. <laughs> time change. Meditation. Gain a meditation event. That's also not bad. Oh yeah, it's 300, yeah. Good one. Even less sanity loss than events. Sanity loss. Yeah. Scientist. What's for the full herbology? 50% extra tea and the herb. So 30 from 30 sanity from herbs. So why would I even increase this? A little bit more of this. Hmm. Or I could save up for something. Okay. Adventurer. Master Climber, less than cost on all terrain, less time cost, I really don't care about the time cost, it's not an issue. If later on there is a mission where it's like, you have to finish this in X amount of time, that's when I'm gonna be like, oh shit, should have taken the time cost reductions. 
but I have no idea if that's a thing, so I'm just gonna say no to it. On the edge is a good one. Oh no, actually it's not. I guess thick skin is good. Ah, and this one. Thrill Seeker. So, in the death zone. I could farm in the death zone with this. At night. Walk around in the death zone, because I don't lose sanity, I gain it. Holy crap! Oh, this is not bad. Only two hours, though. It's basically nothing. Sprint. Sprint a little bit for body temperature, I guess. I feel like I just want to increase things. Whenever you use a consumable, you recover some health. So during the day this one sleeps, and at night it's okay, so I don't need to increase I'm gonna go for Thrill Seeker. Yes. Then again I can store up some herbs, you know what? There you go, there you go. it's fine. Team upgrades, some environment knowledge. Even more night resistance. <laughs> Death Zone is going to be more and more apparent later on, I guess. Spending more time in Death Zone, so is it good? Knowledge of the Zone experience gain. Hmm. Less energy loss, less time cost, less more sanity increase. That's not a bad one. How much does it give? Five percent. So this might be maxed out now. That's nice. So I don't have to take garbage like experience the mountain, because uh, I don't like that one. Anyways, Mountain 1 is exterminated, brutalized. I might do Mountain 2 with the, with the journalist, honestly. This is pretty cool for the adventurer, but the journalist just does not care. And the scientist is probably my least favorite. Like you rely on consuming stuff. You have a lot of sanity, but you can make yourself items, but that's whatever. I mean, I guess this I feel like scientist is the most difficult because you have you really have to pay attention what you want to go through and when. Hmm. Be Oh man, it's journalist all the way, but not today. Tomorrow, I guess. 